Hi guys, so since the last video we've got a problem. I've noticed the uh, battery doesn't seem to be holding charge. It's been down here most of the time when I've looked. End of the day it goes up to two. As soon as the sun goes, it's dropping down here. There's the uh, vehicle battery which is full because we've just been out if you saw the last video. And notice yesterday a smell. So yeah, there was a smell a bit like rotten eggs rotten eggs like eggs yeah boiled eggs so anyway i tested the batteries to see if they were taking a charge they were but i had tested <clears throat> i had tested these batteries before um notice this smell now and um check the battery there and there that was hot it smelt and it was hot this one fine not a problem so that's where we are i'm going to change both batteries now i don't know if you know this but a leisure battery is different to a normal car or vehicle starter battery a vehicle battery gives a surge a sudden surge of power to start the vehicle and then it'll be charged back up and the vehicle runs itself to start the vehicle turn the engine over a leisure battery has no need for that. The leisure battery has a nice, normal, balanced um, distribution of power um, because obviously you don't need a sudden surge in the leisure part of your motorhome, caravan, whatever, RV. Um, so I haven't sourced the batteries yet. So this video, when it's edited, I'm going to take out the batteries. That means I've got to remove the seats and um, install them, put the seats back. So, never done it before. Um, don't even know how to take the seats out. But um, we're gonna find out. So just to show you what the weather's like today. Beautiful, hot, sunny day. So yeah, we're going to, um, if we don't get spiked by this bloody thing. So let's get those chairs out and see how we get on. Okay, right, so we're back and uh, we'll continue on placing the batteries. So obviously for you guys carrying straight on, but um, for me it's taken three days to uh, get what I needed. Try several places. Hello, what are you doing? Here she is. Say hello, Looney. Um, we tried three places to uh, get a battery and uh, failed on all three. One of them was actually a, like a motorhome storage facility. You know, you can leave your motorhome there. and you, I think it's only about 70. I think it's only about 70 euros a month to store your motorhome. And I thought, well, should be able to get a couple of leisure batteries from there. No. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, here we go. So in the end, um, yeah, I have to do, you know what, Amazon. 200 amp and a 7515 MPPT. Don't. What are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, we've got 200 amp uh, leisure batteries. So we, we're replacing the two batteries, one that began to smell of rotten eggs and um, was extremely hot. Could have melted. Who knows what could have happened. Um, Luckily, though, it was under Charlie's seat, not mine. So, just saying. Um, so, right, I'm going to replace those. I'm going to change the controller from the solar. So, the solar panels, the lead from the solar panels, goes into this, comes out of this, goes to your batteries. This looks after your batteries. This stops your batteries overcharging. But also in this, we've got Bluetooth. It will give me what's coming in, what's going out, the state of the batteries. How much solar? Blah de blah. 
everything I need without looking at a panel in the van. Uh, the next one up from this is a hundred, and um, you know you can go up four hundred plus um, solar on it. So that's plenty for what we need. We're in Spain. It still hasn't rained yet in five months. This is an MPP T controller, not a PWM, is it? PWM, I think it is, or PMW. PWM. I'm not an electrician. I'm not an expert, so I'm struggling here. Just get an MPPT. It's better. It works. It's more expensive. But it's the best. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to remove the batteries and also remove the old, and also remove the old controller for the uh, Victron. So the old one's PWN. I went to look it up see what it was what it did because I've, I've got no, I've got no uh, paperwork on it I can't even find it on the internet so yeah that probably tells you a lot so just remember connect all your batteries then change your MPPT then connect your batteries to your MPPT then connect your wires from your solar to the MPPT controller Right. Make sure you do it that way. That's the right way. Job's good. I'll just take your two batteries off, replacing two batteries, reconnecting the uh, vehicle battery, so all three are on. Um, turn the power back on. That. See that there? That's a breather pipe. There's a hole in the floor. That's a breather pipe. Lead acid batteries need to breathe, so it should be connected like that, and that end should be blocked off. Same on the other side. Neither connected. Lead acid battery should be outside. Okay. Not in an enclosed space with no way to get rid of what comes out of them. That should be like that. So there you go. And there we are. And we'll put that on. I'll just use that hole for now. Then PPT controller will also allow you to use lithium batteries but a PWN will not so if you're thinking of upgrading so depending on what your upgrade of uh, solar will be um, you may want to increase your uh, MPPT I've got the 7515 so let's put another hole here just so it's all nice Yeah, yeah, I oh, know. Does the job. So, I'll check the batteries. Vehicle batteries on, and uh, we're good to go. But yeah, I've got to remember to fill the water tanks back up because when you um, switch everything off uh, and you have the heating system that we have. For the hot water and for the uh, heating of the vehicle um, there's a little um, trip underneath the bed next to the heater and when the power goes off it automatically clicks down and it will start to empty uh, your water so there you go we've fitted two new batteries proper leisure batteries and um, an MPPT Victron controller. So what I've got to do now is uh, get the app on the phone um, and uh, all sorted. So I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one.